Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Man Jamar. Come see out today with another video. And would you like to make basic bash logo shapes out of basic shapes that are inside of your Affinity software today? Well, I'm gonna show you guys inside of Affinity Designer today how to do this and how simple it can be for you today. Let's get it. All right, so now we're inside of Affinity Designer today, and I'm gonna show you guys how to make these right here. So it's pretty simple. This one right here, and these two are pretty simple. But alrighty, so let's go ahead and make a new document, which is I already got a new artboard here. And the first thing we want to do, let's hit the simplest one, which is making this a rounded bottom shape logo. So you're just going to click and drag your rectangle tool or square tool and kind of get it to where you want it. And then you want to take the fill away. You want to take the stroke. You probably want to go to about five on that. Or maybe a little bit less probably three and then the next thing you want to do is take your corner tool and this is one of the essential tools I use a lot and you just want to click and drag and then get it to where it's overlapping the circles and there you go you got your first bash logo uh, shape and that's pretty that's the simple one to do that's not too hard to do um, let's go ahead and try this one right here, which is, I actually figured this one, how to do this one off camera. So what you want to do is set the trapezoid tool and kind of click and drag that out to where you want that. And then you want to flip it vertical or rotate it vertical. And what you want to do is you want to hit control and then you want to hit control J. Let me just say control J. <laughs> And what you want to do is you want to match these up together. And I may need to redo this. Hold on, let's delete this. Let's click and drag this out a little bit more. Get a little bit of water. There we go. Alrighty. So now we got our size that we need. And we're going to overlap these right on top of each other. And then once you do that, we're going to click both of them, select them both. And then you want to. Add both of those shapes together. We should have added those. Alrighty. Click those. And you want to add them. And now you'll take your node tool and you may have to go through here because it probably put a several points in there. So you want to delete that one. You want to delete that one. And delete that one. So there's a couple of them that you have to delete. And this is using the node tool, one of the tools that is really essential. So you want to just click and drag all of those out. I think I got all of them now. All right. So the another another thing that I use a lot is rulers. And this is just a quick reference on how to do this. So you just kind of get those right about in the middle, and then you want to click and drag another one down to about that point. Now you got some reference lines to make this shape. So now you want to go down to about right there. You want to go down to about right there. And looking good so far. So next thing you want to do is click these two points and then you want to round it off. Well, hey, <laughs> grab that last one. Hold on real quick. And you want to click those. And this is using your corner tool. Another tool that's really essential, what I use a lot. And there you go. And you probably just want to make an adjustment to the very top of this. And that's another point that needs to be deleted. All right. So you may have to adjust this a little bit just because of the nature of the trapezoid. And then you want to go right here again, pull this down some more. Oh, wrong one. Use your other anchor points. And you can also use your grids as well. This kind of helps out with uh, making this shape as well, but it's not the best looking, but <laughs> this is essentially how you make that military style or 
uh, law enforcement style type logo. Now, like I said, you can use your grids as well. You can turn your snapping grids on and yeah, this is how you make this shape right here. So now I'm gonna take that away. I'm gonna take this ruler away. And since we have that shape, another way to use your tools inside of your uh, program affinity designer is to actually just use uh, the ruler itself and then just kind of make some points. So you want to make a point here and then make a point here. And then what you want to do is you want to click and drag this down. Uh, I missed one point. So you want to make another one. So I missed one point. But you want to do that. And then bam, you got that right there. And then you just want to kind of pick, pick in the center here, arc that down. And then take your corner tool again and round that up a little bit. And now you want to click control uh, J to duplicate that and then you want to flip it. And then once you flip it, you got a bash design. You got a exactly something like this but I like doing it this way because the reason why is because you know it's going to be the same on both sides and using your rulers and everything like that is essential so now what I'm doing is using the no editing tool and I'm just clicking and joining both sides and now this is all one piece and we've already rounded off the edges as you see right here and there you have it so I showed you two logo like two batch uh shapes that you can make just out of using your shape building tool right here or just using the shapes here the circle or i mean not the circle but the uh square tool and then i showed you a way a bonus way on how to use it with just use your pen tool so that's essentially it it's pretty simple so hope you guys enjoyed it